And we're back on 930 AM, The Answer, home of conservative talk radio with On the Record with Kevin and... With Tiffany and Kevin. So, <laughs> so let's, let's go back to Let's this, circle back. Because I want, I want to finish what, what I was trying to say. This is where government can come in let me, and be helpful. Let me, for, okay, so what we're essentially talking about, and this is, a, this is a common theme on Tucker Carlson. I can't believe I'm plugging Tucker, but I am. Tucker Carlson's show is populism versus elitism, right? Do we, how do we profit uh, oh, the many versus the few? Again. But it's, that's mm-hmm. a real, that's not just a slogan, populism, the mass. Mm-hmm. elite the few which mm-hmm. is what we have right how mm-hmm. because in the last segment we talked about uh do you introduce technology that's going to wipe out 10 million jobs right where only a few prosper right or, and that's the same thing with uh with with the medication for our dialysis and mm-hmm. diabetes right do mm-hmm. we help the masses of people right while only a few prosper right so talk about that more with the drugs well you know Here's where I say government can be the hero. Government can be helpful by and and government from a a from the perspective of what they're supposed to be, mm-hmm. serving the people. Mm-hmm. That's where it's super important for government to be uh, proactive. Yep. And to understand that, and I and I saw that. Oh, I was I was really happy. Uh, uh, this week because uh, I got to but this to is government. why when government's helping the people this is why you have to be specific mm-hmm. right you can't use slogans you can't use these broad cat these broad nets if you will for all things because well, every situation is going to be unique it's every where it has is to, to be specific things that needs to be addressed and it has to be uh, nonpartisan like government is supposed to be working on behalf of every individual mm-hmm. it, it shouldn't be uh, this person matters over this person. This group matters over that group. It should be what is going to be best for the collective. Yeah, but you have to do that. But the only, the only way you can actually do that is you've got to look at each specific issue because yeah. trucking is going to be different than yeah. medical. Medical is going to be different than schooling. And right? that's where government is very important. It's supposed to be issue specific and nonpartisan. It yeah. should be issue specific and nonpartisan. And we say nonpartisan because the vast majority of people, if you when you break down the specific issues, they they generally are like ninety nine or ninety eight percent on point with one another, and the other one or two percent, they can work out the differences of that. I don't right? know if your percentages are right, but most people have. You know, like with health care, people want affordable health care. Yep. Everybody wants affordable health care. And yes, Republicans want affordable health care, mm-hmm. contrary to what a lot of people on the left think. We want affordable health care. Everybody wants affordable health care. Mm-hmm. It shouldn't be something that that <laughs> caring about people has never been, never been exclusive to the Democratic Party. You, you can't go to a nonprofit anywhere in the United States and not find uh, Republican men and women working diligently for the good of people and causes causes across the board, from pets to health care to anything else that you can think of, to cancer, to Mm -hmm. every single cause you can think of, they are there. You see people from both sides of the aisle there. Mm-hmm. It, because that And people with all types of different identities, yeah. uh, backgrounds. And you need who that. Wanna work, and you need that, right? Because you you're going to see something that I don't see. I'm going to see something that you don't exactly. see. Exactly. And that's the importance of that. Right? That's Yeah, it's the perspectives. It's having those different perspectives there and being adult enough to work through what the the limitations are mm-hmm. on you, on each side. Yeah, and 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 that's where I see people. It doesn't matter what their background when they're not tie, when they're not strapped to these slogans. When you're nailing them down on specific issues, people are more in common. People have more in common. And then also the the uh, mm-hmm. the polls show that when you talk mm-hmm. specific issues, yes, right, people start lining up in a rational and have common sense. It's when you have on these non when you have these slogans, right? When you have slogans like you know when you have these 
polarizing yes. slogans. Yes, polarizing slogans, right? That people, their brains cut off for whatever reason, mm -hmm. and they and they go into a defense mode versus let's talk about very specific issues and let's address your concerns and my concerns, and we can come to some type of agreement around that. And that's why I'm saying in this political environment, don't get caught up with the slogans because the slogans are sent there and are used to divide you and to manipulate you. They're, they never address specific issues, right? So if you say, hey, I want to address health care, right? That's a specific issue with its own specific set of problems. I want to address school. That's a specific issue with a very specific set of problems. I want to address border line. I want to address the border issue and illegal immigration. Specific issue, specific set of problems, correct? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that is the reason why on that. Okay. And and there's complexity. There's in, a lot in of complexity. Of, in, in each issue, there's complexity and nuances that have to be to that have to be addressed and, and aren't just a sound bite. Yeah. And oftentimes the complexity of those issues don't necessarily fit into a already pre-prescribed idea, like my idea of free markets. Right. Not everything can be solved by free markets. Sometimes mm -hmm. you do need government involvement to, uh, to ramp that up. Right. Mm -hmm. you, we see that in mm -hmm. we see that throughout American history. The free markets don't solve all problems. Yes. A Republican said it. I am in favor. I am in favor of but free markets. But never has the Republican Party said no government, it's always said the same thing. Big government, this expansive, ever expanding government hand, no. That that is what the Republican Party has has stood against. It is not that that anybody in the Republican Party is being like, no, we don't need government. No, that is not what what has been said. So it's it's, it's anti-big government. See, but so let's get it right. It's overreach. I would say government overreach is what I would say. Yeah, sometimes exactly. big government is needed to bring in and enforce rules uh, around certain things to make sure that people are taken care of. If they would have had the, the right amount of government involvement in, uh, in in Palestine, Ohio, right? We wouldn't have this issue. If they had right. measured it more on the quality of people's lives, if this does happen, versus how much it's gonna mm -hmm. cost us to simply pay these people off, make them shut up, and make them go away. Mm -hmm. Right. That, that's that, that's how that decision was made. And the same thing in Jackson. Right. Let's do the minimum we can on uh, on the water supply and making sure everything is is good. Right. Let's do the minimum we can. And if it doesn't ha and if it turns bad, hey, we'll just lie our way out of it and spin our way out of it. Or if it turns bad, we won't be in office anyway by then. Yeah, it's not it's not yeah. our neighborhood. Right. Yep. Not, right. I don't live there. Yeah. That's that's what a lot of people people operate under getting what it is you know what we're finding with some of these quote unquote leaders is that you got these leaders that are there at the table only for themselves to eat they're not there at the table representing their constituents they're there at the table representing themselves and how how big of a cult of personality they can make themselves and if somebody benefits along the way that's a a good thing. I actually sat there and listened to uh, a very lovely, well-dressed, uh, seemingly great, uh, quote-unquote advocate uh, s say that doctors shouldn't be, shouldn't have to give, uh, right now uh, there's a bill out that's, that's against um, that's that's trying to put some regulation around um, how people are being charged, and so people who do not have insurance are being charged significantly more by uh, doctors and hospitals than uh, people who. So they're trying to make them show insurance. their prices, right? And so the yeah, so so the the committee on healthcare reform, which I'm just so thrilled with them, they <laughs> were like, you need to show what. We we need transparency here. We're not telling you don't charge. We're not telling you what amount to charge. We're asking you give us an idea of what should be charged for each service. Show us mm -hmm. and show us show us what you're doing. You're gonna tell something. You're gonna say the, something makes me mad. I know that, it's coming. And the well dressed doctor came forward for all the doctors 
and was just apologetic and sweet and nice. And he said, we shouldn't have to tell you that. I can't tell you what that price might be. I can't tell you how much that should cost. Because he said that was and anti- that, and that's that and that it was and that it was anti-free markets and actually challenged a champion of free markets challenged him on his record and I sat there and it was it was really a, a gift from baby See, Jesus because uh, um, the committee stood up against it um, and and also revealed something that we didn't know, which was that uh, they had been, they could not, uh, trying to get transparency out of this, that industry, out of, out of the the, medical industry, out of the medical industry, out of the doctors and out of the hospitals has been a major fight. And they said it on the record. Yeah, it has been because on their record, not on the record with (laughs) Kevin and Tiffany. But what you have, Tiffany, is essentially you have you have an industry, a medical industry, right? The medical industry is one is hiding behind the slogan of free market, right? When they're really a monopoly is what medical service is. If you don't Mm -hmm. think they're a monopoly, you try going without health. You try living without health insurance or having a doctor, you'll find out really quick. And it was funny because the the uh, so the chair was saying. Uh, I'm kind of nervous about going to to the hospital after having after having stood up to these guys. <laughs> he was like, I'm nervous well, about going to the hospital. But essentially, what you have Texas. is this is an example of of medical in the medical field where you have people who are hiding behind a slogan and aren't addressing the real specific issues. And the specific issue here is tell us what your prices are. Can you imagine going to the gas station and saying, Hey, what's the gas price? Uh, we're going to roll the, the spin the wheel here and whatever it comes out, that's what we'll charge you. Yep. You will lose your ever loving mind. Yeah. Would you not? And, right. But what's you know, we're going to charge you more. The uninsured are being charged more, which says something. They must be charging more to people who have some money. They must be going going and, and evaluating. Oh, well, Mr. Johnson. I know he makes this amount of money. I know he's in this industry. We're going to charge him. So you have a group of people who are claiming free market principles who aren't following free Free market market principles. Yeah. So basically Mm -hmm. we want to charge you whatever we want to and then hide behind a slogan. And so remember, right, uh, it is uh, Remember, the devil is in a suit sometimes. He's not. (laughs) (laughs) He doesn't have a pitchfork and horns. He's showing up in a suit. Speaking humbly. Yeah, and just remember <laughs> this, right? Let us let's avoid being bamboozled and tricked with exactly. slogans. And you've been listening to nine thirty eight. You've been listening on the record with Kevin and Tiffany on nine thirty AM the answer, home of conservative talk radio. Straight talk. 